also why the W, the point of it, is a good thing to have. Pointing across, the ball comes through and you're pointing. Uh, always in front of the ball, not on the ball, always in front of the ball. It goes all the way across before you get to the player. Come into my chest, it doesn't come down, it just comes around. Sometimes you can catch a travel quick dummy back in, but it's ideally you want to keep it horizontal all the way across. Now, again, one of the reasons for having the leg stepped this way is like in tennis, your swing, that's, that's the power leg. So that your energy comes from that, that move. Now, uh, it's always the outside arm coming across the chest. So as long as that arm comes across the chest, from a lower position of the ball, this ball will naturally spin over time once the player gets used to it. It never really comes from the elbows. There's no muscle in the elbow. Sometimes it comes from, from the shoulders, but most of the time it's just like a tennis racket or a baseball. It's the twist and the step that gives the most power. Um, so when that when that happens, you want to aim for the player's face. I want to aim for the face. Because the ball will naturally arc and come down. Okay, does that make sense? Ballistic. Yeah, like a ballistic. So how I want to finish it and drop going across. I'm pointing with my fingers to where the ball goes. Again, again, like in a baseball, when you hit a home run, you're pointing, you're pointing the club to where it goes. Also, why the W, the point of it, is a good thing to have. Pointing across, the ball comes through, and you're pointing. Um, so that's the basic. After I pass, I have to get back outside or follow the player. I have to go this way, and I'm going into contact. If I have ball in two hands, I have six options. I can pass it short, I can pass it long, I can pass it short, that way. So that's that's two options. And I can I can take it into contact or I can kick it. Okay? If it's here, this is all I can do. If it's here and I go into this, this is a wrong pre presentation. Okay? So every time I go into contact, I want to be either hitting him here or here. Never Never straight on, okay? If I go straight on, that's where he's strongest. So that you can open the door this way. The door handle's not at the hinges. It's not, not put close to the door. So when, uh, look Ash, when your hands are like this, I can come out and go into the contact here. And I'm able to ch change my hands and always be between the player and the ball. Make sense? Chcete to, to, že to omezuje možnosti, které má ten hráč, a že v podstatě, když to držíte jedné ruce, tak má jenom jednu možnost, to znamená odmítnout a jít jenom na tu jednu stranu, aby ten balon držel vzadu, protože kdyby šel takhle, tak je ve špatné pozici. A když to, když bude mít ten balon těch dvou rukou, tak bude mít vlastně šest možností, krátká přírávka vpravo, krát, dlouhá vpravo, krát, krátká levo, dlouhá vlevo a potom, potom jít na jednu stranu nebo na druhou stranu nebo, po, nebo pokopnout. Jo? Potom říká, že vlastně dobrá pomůcka pro ty děcka je vysvětlit jim, jak se vlastně otvírají dveře. Že vlastně, když, když vidí toho, toho obránce like takhle, anebo vlastně takhle, jo? že vlastně otvírám si dveře a, a jdu kolem toho hráče, jo? že vlastně schovávám to. A... Jo. The shin, you're hitting the hip, you're hitting the side, you have the ball in your hands, you present and you hit your shoulder. In the way that you're kind of rolling to the ground. Um, again, it's the shin, the hip, the arm present the ball. So it's a, just a roll down. Okay. No, yes. So is you do it, you do it, you do it. And you have a, a game of uh, dom domino. Mm -hmm. So you've got to do it right. And out. And you see that. You gotta go up and go to the end of the line. And you can do this up up the pitch and down the pitch. And the mm -hmm. first team to get up to the pitch wins. You're coming again, you're going to the outside of the door, <coughs> the door handle. You're coming through, and when you hit, you want the player to roll and present the ball this way. It's the same sequence of hits out, so you want to come around, come around, and then in your movement, run, and do the same hits. Mm -hmm. A lot of the time... So you, 
your feet are shoulder width apart, your knees go slightly over your toes, you bend so there's an arch at your back, so you want to pull, you also want to pull your shoulder blades as if there was something there behind your shoulder blades to pinch together, present your chest, make the uh, core muscles strengthen, so again that helps arch, arch the arch. And this is a lot, a lot of the people will try and bend and fold their back, but you want to get your hips and rotate it down. So you're keeping that arch and straight straight the back, you start to feel a little bit more strain here. You want your, your neck in a neutral position, so you want to keep it nice. And I always want to be looking towards the contact. So the eyebrow or the end of the tri line or the pitch, the horizontal line. It, it's very important that kids learn to look at contact because the body naturally reacts to mm. impact if they can see it. If their eyes are closed, the tongue is dead, and it's all, all this kind of stuff, the body won't react well to it. So this is a, a lot of the time you get the kids to try and do this and then you come in and try and yeah. push them over. And the first kid to fall down wins or has to do, do, do a run. So this this position is really good for tackling and going into rocks, rocks and walls. So it's, it's the old going forward. So what I want to be doing is I want to be stepping somewhere in this circle, okay? Because your, your center of gravity is about a fifth below your uh, belly button. Mm -hmm. So if I'm in the below his center of gravity, I'm naturally stronger. This is why I want to get my feet somewhere around here. Not here, so like you knock the knees, but here. So in the tower power, I want to step into this position. Okay. I'm still looking up, my cheek to his cheek. The tackle on his shoulder base. That is a really fleshy place. It's a good place to, to show kids where, where to hit. So you really want to be hitting this part of the leg. Okay. The arms come out and around, and you go into this what's called a ring of steel where you want to get your arms around the body and either clamp and clasp make your arms and as you fall down, go slower around the ankles. This is the first basic basic level because a lot of the times at under eights, the you know, size difference. But the closer I can get in, down, my next foot goes in and I try to push cheek and cheek. Okay? A lot of is is much more uh, better than this. This is really bad because it encourages that way. So it's all it's all about getting the confidence of the player going mm. forward. And this high knee protects protects me from the player coming in, okay? and it also steps gets me stepped in for when I catch the ball and come into contact. I'm into a strong position. So this is very much a uh, protection leg. It gets you up, it protects you in the air and it also gets you down for the contact when if the pain. Um, so you want to lead, which naturally puts, if the ball has been kicked from me this way, it naturally turns me to the side. A lot of the players, a lot of levels here, will try and catch the ball like this. Now this means on a really weird, weird shaped ball, it's most likely going to hit your chest and bounce forward, and then you give the opposition off. If I turn to the side, the ball comes down, I miss it, it bounces to my chest, and it goes backwards. So I'm not giving the ball away to the opposition. So again, with the lead leg, lead arm, it turns it turns my position that when the ball comes down and I miss catch it, it goes out. Just you're not really snatching the ball off the, in the air, you're actually letting it come into your chest and you're catching it. So when you jump up, the arm leads up as well, or if you step out, the arm steps out again. And as you come into the ground, you're hitting, you're transferring your weight that landed on this to this leg because you're shifting the ball again the opposition's coming in from the, this side you want to get the ball away from the opposition and take the hit and I go down with two, two hands a lot of players will try and do this scoop scoop around it's two hands so if I jump this way I could miss the ball and the ball goes forward so what I want to do is I want to slide with my feet as I slide with my feet, I'm coming in. My hands are coming up, and so I've got I've, I've got into that cradle position. So the ball is bouncing, bouncing around, and I'm coming slower into it. And I just cradle it in and take it into my chest. Hopefully, if you still got some momentum, you can turn to go back this way, 
like a sprint start, ball and chest. Or what they what you can do is if I'm still going that way, I can use my lower leg as I slide in to kick myself up. And that, 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 that's all in the momentum of the slide. Claire, I want to slow down. Okay? If I'm running too fast, I have no more speed. So you want to change your speed from acceleration uh, to your fast gear. I want to go this way. So I'm slowing down and I want to lead him out. And a lot of other the players is like if he if he commits, if he's gonna take the step, then I move. If he doesn't take the step, I, I keep going. So this again the, the, the player's individuality will, will learn this over time. I don't want to run in a nice S shape. If I, if I run in an S shape, he can gauge it. So if I slow down and change my angle, he has to think more. The more the player thinks, the more I can outwit him. If I'm running straight like this, he doesn't have to think because he knows he's, he's going to hit me. So I want to do a Z shape, like a Z. Yeah. So I want to try and run a Z shape. Once I get stepped outside his circle, I can again ch change, change the ball into this and put the hand, hand out or run, run to the side. Okay? Basically, I vision more here, more here when I'm looking at him. So I, I step and I, this is my plant leg. So again, like, like in the past, this is where the strength com com comes from. And I'm pointing where I want to go. So my next step as I plant is this way. And it's naturally, I don't have to twist or pull anything else.